sure you're aware you can see. This is a right-handed corner. What that means is that I can handle this as a right-handed shooter. If I'm a left-handed shooter, I need to become a right-handed shooter to handle this corner safely. Conversely, if I approach the problem from this side, that's a left-handed corner. Not easily handled as a right-handed shooter, so I need to become a left-handed shooter in order to handle this corner safely. Can I muddle through without changing hands? Maybe, but is it best practice? No. All right, the reason being is this. <clears throat> well, again, remember, this is the hard line. This is the five degree cut right here, okay? And that extends out in that direction. So this is what the bad guy can see. Maybe he's flush against the corner. All right, so if I'm a right-handed shooter, I want to move I want to move through this in a direct way. So when it comes time for me to move, I want to shoot off in this direction here. Okay? Um, if I am holding this in my right hand, is my body in a natural I mean no, you're twisting I'm twisting myself up. Right. Okay. I don't want to lead with this elbow. So if I drop this elbow, I have to cant the pistol over. Can okay, I look? If I need to move in a hurry here, can I do it? Look at how, am I balanced? No. Now watch what happens. Different? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <clears throat> so, okay, grin from this as is practical. Circumstances, remember this is an open, uh, open loop issue here, outside influence. I can't add five feet to my search because I have an obstruction here that I have to deal with. So this is as far away as I can get from my, my problem, okay? So I'm here, okay? I start moving toward the corner, and notice I'm walking normal. I'm not doing this crabby, crabby stuff. I'm walking normal, okay? And all right, I see Greg's shoe there. <clears throat> Anytime that someone is concealing themselves from you, are they a friendly or are they an adversary? Adversary. Why would somebody be concealing themselves from me, right? Okay, now, if I know that this guy is the active shooter, okay, can I put a round in his boot? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Okay, that counts, you know, because now it's going to be harder for him to fight and move and everything else. What I'm going to do is when I reach this point here, that five degree cut, I don't want to keep doing this because I give him information that I'm coming. So when I get to this point here, I'm going to want to take this corner hard. And I'm going to move in that direction, right toward that gentleman over there with the canine hat. Okay? And I'm setting it up where when I step, my first step is going to be on the same side as the hand I'm holding the pistol. And the reason is this. Because as I move here, boom, I can leap into this area. And I kind of exaggerated that, but you get the idea. Okay, I can leap into this area very quickly, bah, and I can put a round on board. If I'm going to lead with the other foot, you see how I'm kind of bound up? Okay, so there's some footwork involved in this. If you're moving slow, you can move slow this way. Okay, here. Okay, but the minute that you take that threshold, Quick. All right. Questions. So could you show us like actual speed? Actually that speed? was actual speed. That was it right there. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I don't want to. Okay. This is hunting for the burglar. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this on so you can see where my muzzle. That's hunting the burglar. <clears throat> this is going after the active shooter. I know he's in here somewhere. How's it different? Quicker. Yeah, that's it. 
A little more aggressive. A little more aggressive. Part of the art of CQB is taking a small space and making it better. Okay? You're going to be confined. You're going to have stuff. There's going to be furniture, right? You're taking a small space and you're making it as big as you can. Okay? So you didn't see him come up like this. You saw him come out. He made the space bigger. He didn't. Matter of fact, here, point in at where you think I'm going to appear. <clears throat> okay. So if I'm doing this, Bang. you see what I mean? Yeah. Okay. As opposed to, keep the light there. All right. <clears throat> Even if his finger's on the trigger, and we've done this, and we will do it in class. <clears throat> Even if his finger's on the trigger, he's decided, the minute I see Gabe, I'm going to bust a cap. <laughs> right? Uh, here, okay. Everybody familiar with the OODA loop? Yeah. I'm moving inside his. Right. Okay. And from the good guy's side, all right, when you're negotiating that corner, basically I want my sight picture to be right through that corner. Okay, that's where it's most effective. And especially if you have a red dot sight, if you can't the pistol out a little bit, you expose less of yourself yeah. as you take the pie. So you can see the dot on the wall, right? Mm -hmm. See? Okay, I'm right off the corner, mm -hmm. and just walking around. Yeah. Then it breaks. And, uh, you know, as far as how to hold your pistol. <clears throat> okay. So... And I don't know how all you guys have trained before, but you know I, I'm well aware of. Okay, this is the ready. There are many like it, but this one is mine. You know that kind of, that kind of thinking. Okay, um, this is okay for kindergarten gunfighters. This is way beyond that. Okay, so ready position. There's there's shooting position, which is shooting, and then everything else is a ready position. Okay, so ready position depends. Okay, this is a ready position, 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 this is a ready position. I need to open this door, this is a ready position, okay? It depends on the problem where your, your gun is going to be. <clears throat> you notice when I was approaching the corner, I'd extend it, and then I'd bring it in like yep. this. And notice the gun stays in space. I move into the gun, and then I punch out the gun, because I don't want this. Right? right? You want to enter at the same time as your muzzle. Right. right. When you announce yourself to the dance, the muzzle comes with you. You don't want it, especially with long guns, it's, it's more of a problem than it is with yeah. a pistol. But as you approach the corner, you compress. Yeah. Because weapon retention is one of the main things you have to worry about in CQB. Mm -hmm. And it may not even be malicious. Like if, like say the, this, it's a crowded auditorium <coughs> and you have people fleeing. Right, you got to keep that tight. You don't want somebody right. knocking you over, dropping your gun, whatever. Right, so weapon retention is huge. Yeah. And additionally, you get used to that compress and snap out. If somebody is right there, like Murphy showed up, if you're already in the habit of doing that with your muscle memory, like that turns into a muzzle punch to the face super quick. And a muscle punch to the face with terminal ballistics is an additional weapon. Extra points. Extra points. <laughs> I'm a multi -master. Um So, the mechanics of the corner. The mechanics of the corner. You remember the, the diagram that we did? Okay. This area here can be circular, it can be direct, it doesn't matter. All right? <clears throat> you reach that point of decision, okay? And you know, it, maybe it's here, maybe it's here, it doesn't matter. Okay, it could be five degrees, 10 degrees, I don't know. You reach it with the foot opposite the hand that's holding the gun. And you compress the gun. So this is the starting point right here. Now you notice I'm loading my legs for movement here. Okay? I'm loading my legs for movement here. If you reach it and you're like this, you're going, okay. <clears throat> Just change, no big deal. Okay, compress. And so I'm gonna do it slow. You guys saw me do it fast already. So. I launch 
So you notice that the muzzle and my body cover the space together, okay? It's like this, okay? And then I continue moving, this time not elliptical, I'm moving in a diagonal line, okay? Questions on that? So it's a footwork and while the of sorts. The, the reason the diagonal line is important is because you're taking up more, like just to use these, these painted things, you're taking up more real estate in the room. You know what? That's a, we should demo that. Um, okay. Let's use, this is you. Okay, so that was, move back up. Move, a few feet right there. A little bit more, a little bit more. <clears throat> okay, so, a little bit more. I don't want to run into it. Okay, that's good right there. Okay, now, three areas that I can move. Forward diagonal, lateral, or to the rear. Okay, so you spring up your, your strong hand, just point on it, sit down, okay? So one step in any of these directions is gonna cost me the same amount of time and effort. Would you agree? Yes. Okay, so one step over here, boom. Okay, track me. Okay, now if you get a ruler out, how many inches is that? Okay, let's go back. Okay, straight to the side. Give me a measure. Nine. A little bit more. Okay. All right, right there. Boom. Yeah. Where are we at? About foot. Okay. So forward diagonal creates more distance between his muzzle and you. Okay. So if you look at it, it's like this. Okay. So let's get let's get you to stand right there. Okay. This is me not going anywhere. Okay. Boom. Right here, Greg. Take that spot. Okay, like that, right? That's what it is. Okay, okay. Come here. Be right there. <coughs> okay. In school, all the geology. Okay, come here. Geology. Okay, so. I don't know anything about math. Now, okay. get your calculators out. Okay, if he's starting to shoot over here, and then he's got to now change and attack this target, how much time does that take him? As opposed to how much time? As opposed to how much time? Right. Which is the safest line of movement? Yeah. Closer. Forward uh, diagonal. Deeper. The other thing is this. What's your objective? To get away from the active shooter. <laughs> Closer. No. Kill him. No. Okay. I'm gonna, my job is to kill this guy. Okay. So I'm going to attack him. I'm going to put pressure on him at the same time that I'm shooting him in the head. So it's not only safer, it also looked really good when people were filming me. <laughs> <laughs> Question. Think of it as a microcosm of full, full on field battle. It, it, it's a very small, full on field battle. Mm -hmm. Okay? So when you're taking a forward a blade, you're flanking. Okay? You're flanking the enemy. You're taking real estate. So every time you enter a room, that room is yours. You take the real estate into the room, you own that room. Make sense? Yes. And you know that this is all clear. It's clear. Mm -hmm. Yep. How many martial arts guys do we have here? Keep on done. And clear. <clears throat> okay. So we're gonna fight. Just, you know, we're not really gonna hit. Okay. Go ahead, put your hands up. Okay. What's better for me? Okay, go ahead. Being in here, okay? We're fighting out of content. Feet, knees, you know, the eight limbs, right? Okay? If I'm over here, better for me? Yeah. yeah. That's kind of what we're doing too. Yeah. Right? Because <clears throat> it's actually more difficult for him to track outward than inboard. Now that's that's an intangible, that's part of the open loop stuff. You can't control that because what if the dude's left handed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, okay? But uh, you know, that's an advantage that you might get to to, to take uh, to put on your side of the ledger. Well, if you're moving Right handed, and chances are he's right handed. Most people are right. People are. So if you're moving that way, then you're moving the right direction. Counter right. To his. Now, this is where we're talking about open loop stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm taking a corner. Do I know what hand he's got the weapon in? No. No. But you know what? Any direction that I move that takes me on a forward angle like that is going to make it harder for him to hit me, regardless of what hand he's got. When done correctly, <clears throat> statistically, it's more likely for the second person to get shot. Now, <clears throat> would, would it be an advantage to take that corner and crouch down because... I'm glad you asked that, okay? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right, uh, so, in fact, you get to be the bad guy here, okay? Greg, you're with me. <clears throat> okay, so...
just take a pen and like I can write it anytime. Yeah. Okay, so it's like a that's how two people do it. <laughs> yeah. Right? Okay. Now, would that tactic work if you're by yourself? No. <laughs> okay. But in some instances, wouldn't you want to take advantage of your height? Well, sure, absolutely. Right. You know, yeah. So you but you don't want to like anchor yourself. No, 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 but yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, you and Tommy and, and you guys can use anything for cover. So, Gabe, so, after you take the corner with your forward diagonal line, at some point, do you make another cut? It depends. It depends. Now, when I took Greg, you notice that I, I was on him and I was here like this, okay? But I had him at this point. Right. So, I'm going to be following him down, boom, 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 boom. And then I'm going to be now back with someone else who's in this room. Okay. Um, <clears throat> if we are in a more of an open-ended kind of an environment, then yeah, I may take, especially if I haven't taken him down and I see his weapon moving toward me, yeah, absolutely. Not so much, uh, not so much of an application in this type of, uh, of venue. Other questions? That, and this is going to be more of a <laughs> hallway yeah. uh, solution. Mm -hmm. to, to the problem yeah. when you diagnose it's going to be more of a hallway thing versus a room thing um, in a room thing you're still going to want to what, what we call a hybrid entry right is you're going to come in at the diagonal same thing you're taking space right you come at the diagonal you already got your one danger corner okay and then <coughs> there's your second right so you're not having to do throw in a bunch of weird footwork or whatever yeah. you just they attack the crack of the door Come through right or left handed, okay? Because doors are the same thing, right or left opening, so right or left handed. You attack the crack, that's the direction you want to go because it's the most efficient. So you're going to clear that corner, come back and clear that one. Yeah. Did you do another corner without Greg there? So you come around the corner and you realize that it's. I would do the exact same thing. And then. <clears throat> I would do the exact same thing. The process is the same. Mm -hmm. You know, we're probably going to do a CQB content. I know we talked about that. Yeah. You know, the ingrain the footwork and stuff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I take the corner. Okay, I don't see anything there. Um, so do I need to maintain my speed and momentum? Oh, I take, no, I slow myself down. Now I'm on the hunt. Well, what else am I? Okay, here's another one. Here's another one. This right. is where I talked about buck fever. The momentum's good. you got to maintain momentum because if you get bogged down, it sucks. Yeah. You can't get it back. It's really Well, you can, but it's hard and it sucks. So you want to maintain momentum, but you don't want it to build. You don't want the momentum to build. You don't want to start charging in gas, 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 and then continue, and then continue, and then continue. So it gets sloppy. Here's another thing. <clears throat> the more guys you have with you, the more risk you can take. Yep. So you're by yourself. You, I mean, you can flip a coin, or you can manage the risk, but it's going to take you longer if you're really going to do it safe. Okay, other questions? So I, I, I kind of noticed you got some really soft shoes and you're being, you can't hear your footsteps. How big of an, op is, of an issue is that to be, you know, training on or thinking on, okay. you know, boots versus yeah, boot, come here. soft shoes? Okay, I'm wearing cowboy boots. Big old boots? Yeah. Okay, this is how you walk. Watch this. Heel toe, heel toe, oh, heel toe, heel toe, set. Does this matter if I make noise? No. no. Okay, go, heel toe. Not bad, right? Right. Okay, so, you know, um, <clears throat> one thing that I like to do, I live up in the, the back country up in Prescott, I like to stalk animals. I don't shoot too many of them anymore, but, you know, if there's like a, a deer in the yard or something like that, and they're skittish as hell, my yard's like two and a half acres, you know, you've seen me do it. I'll go out there and I just kind of like, okay. <laughs> Okay. I, I, my, my mental, you know, uh, uh, thing, I'm not thinking of the deer, because it's a weird thing. If you think of the deer, the deer knows it. Right. <laughs> I, 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 you know what? I don't know, man. I, I, am I right? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. It's like date night. So I'm thinking of something else. I'm just, okay, here we go, here we go. You know, and if he moves, I just kind of like, okay. That's exactly like date night. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but, you know, practice that. I know one of the things that, like, uh, and it, she didn't like it too much, but 
<clears throat> when my kids were little, um, <laughs> yeah, we would stalk each other in the house. And, you know, and my daughter got really good at it. <laughs> he used to pick our daughter up, carry her sideways like she was a rifle, and use her to clear the house yeah. while she was giggling. Yeah. But, uh, but no, you know what? Stillness is a, is a learned skill. Stealth is a learned skill. And you have to practice it because if, if you don't, you'll lose it. You know, when's the last time that you just went somewhere and just kind of like, okay, just be still, just listen. You know, most modern humans are like, fuck. Especially if you're married. <laughs> you know, I mean, just, just do that once in a while. You know, practice extreme focus. Practice moving stealthily, slowly. One thing to talk about with that, with footwork and movement and things of that nature, if you've seen like the SWAT movies and the SEAL movies and all this kind of stuff, <coughs> doing CTV, you, you see what they, they used to call it the groucho. Okay? And it's this bent knee squared up movement like this. Okay? The entire purpose of that movement <coughs> is it gives you a stable shooting platform, but the primary reason for that style of movement and it's all 90 degree corners. Okay. is to put your plate forward. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because if you blade in plates, it, it's ineffective. Right. right. So it's to keep your plate forward, and that's why they teach it. It's not an effective way to move, especially in small yeah. tactics. Yeah, we don't care. It's for a larger team. Yeah. Yep. You know, we're plates. <clears throat> the, way, the way I want you to move toward an objective, and, you know, we're going to get busy training this in a bit here, but so let's, <coughs> let's say I need to move toward that door. And then I'm going to take that door or the corner, whatever it is. In other words, I'm moving toward an objective. Okay, so my weapon is here. This is my ready position. I don't like doing this, and I don't like always being pointed in because if I'm pointed in, this is blocking my vision. So I bring it up in here like this. <clears throat> this is in my line of sight, so if I need to shoot him or him or him, I can. If I need greater degree of accuracy, I'm here. Okay, so I'm here, and this is what I'm doing. It's smooth and faster. Okay, and my weapon is aligned. It's not moving anywhere. It's a learned skill. You have to practice. <coughs> and linear movement is always better with, with your hand. Linear movement is always better. It's more efficient. If you do a sweep, mm -hmm. the tendency is to over trap. Yeah. Versus compress. Yeah. I like I like extend compress. Extend yep. and compress. Okay. It's something I'd like to point out that, and Dave and I have talked about this, uh, everybody has problems with it. Uh, beginners, intermediate, SWAT teams, uh, special forces, everybody seems to have problems with this. Notice that his techniques involve changing speeds, going from slow and stealthful to fast, Bal uh, balancing stealth with speed to obtain maximum security. You're always changing gears. You're going from slow to fast, back down to slow as you come to corners. If in a, in a larger scenario, you're hearing shots at the end of the, the other side of the building, you're moving very fast. Now all of a sudden you hear the shots, they stop. Now you're not sure where. Somewhere over here, you're changing gears, you're slowing it down. All of a sudden, you're deliberately moving. Now you hear shots again, you're moving faster. One of the things people have a tendency to have trouble with is changing the gear whether it be slowing it down or speeding it up. So just be very cognizant of that. Don't get stuck in one gear. Be flexible and be able to change from one gear to another and back again as you go through it. And, and along that same vein, you don't want to announce yourself to the party <laughs> other than ballistic. That's how, given your druthers, that should be your mm -hmm. announcement to the party is bouncing a corner and smoking. <clears throat> So you don't want to be slamming doors around, you know, doing the hup hup guy thing, and, you know, kicking in the door. You don't need to do that. You know, there's no sense in kicking in a door when you can just check it and see if it's unlocked. Okay. okay. You don't want to announce yourself. Don't be loud. <clears throat> All right. So <clears throat> for this, let's just let's just work on finger guns. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six <clears throat> corners. Okay. Got a <clears> one. <throat> Okay, yeah, find some pain on the ground. So get with your partner, whoever that partner is, and start working these drills and get the hang of it. We're going to be walking around and kind of helping you guys out.
correcting is necessary. Okay, let's go.